So hello, you don't see anything, because first, there was nothing, the Wu Chi, then the Monad, the Monad, come on, there we go, now we're in focus. So with the human mind and the creation of the universe, first there's nothing. There's a blank space. And then something comes in to that space. And that's what the ancients called the monad. But the monad is a heuristic device, uh, which means it's something like playing chess. But um, in this case, it's a little more serious because anything that transpires between human beings with this heuristic device can be measured, it can be calculated, and uh, that's the point of it. That's, that's one of the things that this thing does. It serves um, as a template, sort of related to temple, maybe? But uh, anyway, this template creates a, a pattern for human thought and human action. And so we're going to explore where I first found out how to use this thing, uh, which was the Tai Chi, and uh, the fact that the Tai Chi is used in martial arts today certainly helped to explain the Bagua science that reveals how the monadology works. Well, Bagua science is from the uh, Tai Chi. Tai Chi is that yin and yang symbol surrounded by eight different trigrams. And that, in terms of the monadology, eight trigrams is the Agdoad, just like you saw in the illustrations before. So we're going to explore what happens in this sequence, in this progression. One, starting at the level of the triangle here, what happens is a space right inside this triangle serves as like a map. A map for whatever you put on the outside and represent just like the Bagua of the Tai Chi. In other words, these symbols are a template and they stand for other things. and learning to use this heuristic device will be an exploration into how to use the different sequences in the monadology. And so I'm going to give you a few more illustrations to explain the beginning to the end and then we're going to go to the end and go back to the beginning because that's what you do with these things. See you in a minute.
All right, we're back. Now, what about something that's not physical because a fight is physical? Well, this formula works on a lie. Um, as a matter of fact, what, what the Gnostics discovered was that pretty much all evil comes in seven parts. All right, so you see the circle, or the empty space, is like an arena uh, for the fight. There's there going to be punch. Uh, the lie is, uh, is an attempt to hide the truth. Um, the liar's going to delay, distract. He's going to scapegoat. He's, he's going to do all those things. And in the arena of a lie... Those are the monadic sequences, uh, are the types that fit together, just like uh, the, the fighter's octagon of punching, kicking, grabbing, etc. So you see, the monadology is one powerful tool. <laughs> Thank you. 